Welcome back. In this series of videos, I'm going to just run through a few tips that will help you to draw your Design Spark projects and edit them in the areas that you want to modify. If you first delete the fillets, so for instance, here I have a fillet around the edge which is stopping me from editing the height of it so if we click on it press delete just to remove the fillet we now have access to the whole top area I can click on it to make it active grab the pull tool and we can make the object a lot longer also um, like areas like this in the hand you may be able to click on that and change it but it's going to create some funny objects so if we delete this filler here then we can now drag that particular surface up and we end up with a better result same as all these little fillets along here if I needed to edit the shape of the foot or something like that if I remove the fillets around the edge then um, that will make editing quite a bit simpler I like to place fillets on all my edges it just makes your final result so much more professional and especially when you print it and this takes away all the sharp edges and makes it a lot more pleasant to look at so remove fillets before editing objects another tip is to do with holes or bores it might be obvious to some but maybe not everyone you can actually move a bore hole or a hole so if we click on the internal bore of the hole grab our move tool we can now move our hole around to any location we like if we grab our pull tool you'll see that it shows you the actual radius of the bore so if we press our spacebar we can type in a new radius and there we go we can edit our bore holes by moving them around quite simply or increasing the diameter of them um, as mentioned previously if there's a fillet on the hole then it pays you to move remove your fillet first before you start editing the bore of the hole so that's that one there um, holes can be moved and resized quite easily the next tip is the use of the split body tool to actually gain access to parts of the drawing that would be difficult otherwise so with this little knob here um, it has a compartment inside to allow that little indent to hold on to the the shaft so if we quick click at the, the surface on the base here go to split body it has now split it in half or split it into two objects so if we grab our select tool we want to keep that one we'll hide this one if we spin it around we can see that we have a little compartment inside here to <clears throat> gain access to well so this little tab here can hold onto the shaft we click on the other end of it and split the body again up for it run that surface of our select tool <clears throat> work out which one that is so we'll hide that one and we'll hide that one so there's our little detent de whatever you like to call it that puts pressure on the shaft to stop the whole thing from turning 
So now if we grab our pull tool and select our surfaces, control click, control click, we can now make the whole thing a little bit wider, say 0.2. so that it now holds the shaft a little bit tighter and it's the same as if we we can now turn them all back on again so that they're all joined together and if we grab our combine we can start reassembling it again so click on the first object hold our control key down click on the next object that's joining Click on the next job object that's joining again. And if we spin it around, we can click, control click on this object in here again. And the whole thing is back to a single object. So if we grab our pull tool, <clears throat> we can see this surface in here is protruding and it might grab on things so if we grab our pivot edge tool we can now pivot that down so that it ends up without a sharp edge so that's one way of using a split body tool to help us to edit objects you know sort of usually the first prototypes never exactly right or you're lucky if it is and you can actually go and edit things to make them fit a little bit better or to to be a little bit more professional looking so that's using split body I'll cover that a little bit more in the next tip